the report, as you rightly say, didn't find uh, any uh, evidence um, of uh, interference in, for example, the EU uh, referendum. Uh, but it's not that our intelligence agencies are not looking for uh, interference. Well, let's take a look at paragraph 44 of the Russia report on that. The written evidence provided to us appeared to suggest that Her Majesty's government had not seen or sought evidence of successful interference in UK democratic processes or any activity that has had a material impact on an election, for example, influencing results. And specifically on the issue of Russian interference in the EU referendum. This is what the committee who helped write the report had to say. There has been no assessment of Russian interference in the EU referendum. And this goes back to nobody wanting to touch this issue with a 10-foot pole. It gets worse. There has, however, been speculation that this report was going to reveal either that Russia had interfered in or sought to influence the referendum. In the committee's view, it's worse than that. The report reveals that no one in government knew if Russia interfered in or sought to influence the referendum because they did not want to know. As for this... Well, to be clear, that the report came in, of course, and then the election happened, and it's taken a while, as you rightly point out, not without some controversy, for the uh, parliamentary committee that, whose job it was to uh, issue this report to be formed and then issued it. Let's listen to Kevin Jones, a member of the ISC, the committee who helped write the report. What shocked me is the way in which number 10 has tried to mislead. Uh, you know, they said that the Prime Minister only had six days to read this report. Not true. They then said it needed six weeks to get its confirmation. That's not true either. They then said it needed to go around for more work on. That's not true. And then they tried to rubbish the entire process. And that's not true either. So lies, lies and more lies from the government. How have we allowed this to become normalised? This isn't about politics. It's about national security. It's about the integrity of our democratic processes. And this government has protected neither. 